On behalf of our president, Dr. Kimball Chambers, our Dean of Students Affairs and Information Service, Ms. Teresa Mays, our College Administration Facility staff and students, we welcome you to this momentous occasion. Today we will recognize the efforts and achievements of the men and women being inducted into the Trenum State Chapter of the National Society of Leadership and Success. Our chapter was founded to help students create the success they need, they need, they want to want by enabling them to engage in reflection and self-exploration. NSLS have provided members with the tools for action, inspiration to hold members accountable, and motivation to achieve our goals. To our inductees, after today's ceremony, you are officially an active lifetime member of this great organization. This benefit you have received thus far are only the beginning of something larger that, that will continue for years to come. Please accept this heartfelt congratulation for achievements and the great things I am certain each of you will attain in as your Sorry. Oh, and now Miss Demetria Thomas will present the Society Shield. Sorry, I got nerves. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the essential concepts at the core of this organization. We hope that by learning about these core ideals, you will add an even greater sense of pride and ownership to our members. Our Greek letters are Sigma, Alpha, Pi. Pi is a never ending number. Success com comes from never ending purposeful actions. S, A, and P represent success, action, and purpose. The phoenix represents a rising from the ashes of adversity to achieve success. The two stars show that no one person achieves success alone. And the two stars on the crest symbolize the help of at least one other person that balances success. The knight represents integrity, truth, and honor. The five point star refers to a different key quality of successful leader, integrity, positive attitude, compassion, purpose, and motivation. The six star represents six steps to achieving the quality of life that we desire. Our goals, vision, perseverance, taking risks, pursuing your passion, and continual improvement. Good afternoon. My name is Angelo Memnon, and it is my honor to introduce our guest speaker, Ms. Lily Gonzalez, NSLS Success Specialist for the Trenum Chapter of NSLS. Lily was born in a small border town of Piedras Negras, Mexico, but was raised in Texas all of her life. As a first generation college student, Lily attended Our Lady of the Lake University in San Antonio, Texas, receiving her bachelor's in psychology with a minor in art. While at OLU, Lily was very involved with organizations and programs on campus, which made, her, which made her rethink her career choice and pursue higher education administration at Texas State University, San Marcos for graduate school. Lily's career led her to work in a variety of areas in student affairs, including orientation programs, leadership programs, residential life, student organizations, and fraternity, fraternity sorority life. She started the NSLS chapter at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, and advised it for six years before coming to work for the national office. Lily has a strong passion for helping students and professionals develop and become better versions of themselves, which fits seamlessly with the NSLS mission of building leaders who make a better world. 
Outside of work, Lily teaches art classes virtually and enjoys painting to relax and pass the time. Lily also enjoys spending time with family and friends, visiting restaurants, and making friends with any animals she meets along the way. Now, let's all welcome Miss Lily Gonzalez. Hello. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me here today. <laughs> um, I want to um, personally thank uh, Ms. Porterfield and Kim and everyone here at Trenum for being so open and willing to have me here. I love coming to visit uh, Montgomery. I have a few chapters here in the area and also I have a friend here that works, that used to work here at Trenum, Ja'Cory. Um, he's right over there. Wave your hand, Ja'Cory. Uh, Ja'Cory Calloway. And if you are um, aware um, or if you didn't know, Ja'Cory is also uh, running for the school board. So go ahead and vote for Jacori if you live in the area. Just a small plug for my friend there. <laughs> I'm excited to be here to be able to talk to you um, and wish you congratulations on this big step. I have something short um, and hopefully a little um, interactive for everyone here to participate in, um, but something that I hope will be meaningful for everyone. As I mentioned, I'm, or as was mentioned, I'm visiting you from Texas and I'm excited to be here. I love to try Southern food. Um, that's one of the things that I've, every time I come here, I tell Ja'Cory, take me, let's go find some good Southern food. Um, so one of the things that I have learned so much um, by coming here to visit Alabama and the schools here is that a lot of the schools here and the students that come to these schools are very motivated um, by different things. And But I see a lot motivated by personal perseverance, family, and you know the uh, ability to move forward. Um, and it's so evident in um, your students. And also, I love being able to interact with students who are really trying to be that example for building leaders who make a better world. So one thing that, as you know, from my background, I'm an educator and I worked in higher education for a long time. So I really wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't do some kind of short exercise today. So I have something for you to think about. No one's going to have to talk to each other or get up or do an icebreaker. I promise not to torture everyone with that. But um, what I want you to do is really, as you're sitting there, everyone in the room can think about um, something that you'd like to be known as. Um, a lot of times when we meet people, they might see themselves in a certain way or want to portray themselves in a certain way as a leader. But um, we know people who truly live their values and we know people who definitely don't live their values. You can probably think of those people in your head. And so today I wanna talk about values. I have a list of values that I'm gonna read. And as I'm reading this list, you'll probably have a reaction to them. So you'll probably think to yourself, yeah, that resonates with me or that word's important to me or no, that doesn't, that's not really for me. I'm not really interested in that. So as you are, as I'm reading this list and I'll read it kind of quickly so we don't take too much time. If this resonates with you, just keep it in your mind and you can pick a couple of words if you want or just pick one that's really, really important to you. Okay, here it goes. Authenticity, accountability, achievement, adventure, authority, autonomy, balance, beauty, boldness, compassion, challenge, citizenship, community, competency, collaboration, contribution, creativity, curiosity, determination, fairness, faith, fame, friendships, fun, 
growth, happiness, honesty, humor, influence, inner harmony, justice, kindness, knowledge, leadership, learning, love, loyalty, meaningful, work, openness, optimism, patriotism, peace, pleasure, popularity. That's a list of values. Throughout that list, you probably, like I said, had a reaction to them. Some of them resonate with you, like, yeah, that's important to me. Or, and some of them were like, no, that's not for me. So if, if you can think of that list and the words that really made an impact for you in your mind, think about how you accomplish those. I'm going to use Kim as an example, but I'm not going to ask you to do anything. <laughs> so don't be afraid. So one of the things that I know about Kim is that Kim is what I would consider a servant leader. She's someone who gives everything she can to this organization, to her family, to the people around her. She gives beyond what is asked of her and sometimes what she can handle. Um, she does the, goes the extra mile because that's important to her, to be dependable, to be reliable, to be someone that people can count on. And even in her future profession as a nurse, she'll be someone that people look to for support, for comfort, for, um, for that person to go to and say, please help me. And they feel they can trust her with the job that she has to do. So when I look at Kim and I look at her profession, and then if I asked her what words resonated with you, could they have matched? Did I say any of the words? Did I? Okay, good. That's, I was hoping for that. <laughs> uh, if not, this wouldn't have worked. But so as you are, so I, what I'm saying is that Kim, being who she is, lives her values and lives congruently with them. So just like shapes are congruent to each other, we can be congruent with our values. So Kim is a, our NSLS president here, and she lives congruently with her values. I think all of us strive to do that and to be able to live congruently. I know that's something that I always strive for and continue to work for. Every day we make choices to live closer to our values. And sometimes we're going to fail. And then the next day we have the opportunity to get back up and try again. And if our value is compassion or if our value is kindness and one day we mess up and we're not kind, we still have the next day or the next opportunity, the next interaction to try again. And every day we make choices to, to live closer to those values. So as you're sitting there thinking about that value that we talked about, I'd like you to think about how other people would describe you. Would they say that you are embodying that value? And how are you doing that? I, can, I gave you examples of how Kim does it. And I wish I knew all of you personally so I could, so I could give you each examples. But maybe your friends, maybe your family, maybe they could reflect upon you. What are some things that they see in you? And are those the things that you value too? Ideally, you would want them to reflect some of the values that you wish to portray. So one of my, my number one value is fairness. And so whenever I read off justice, compassion, fairness, those ring high for me. I... Fairness is very important to me. So in my job, sometimes even when the decision isn't to my benefit, even when the decision isn't comfortable or isn't easy, sometimes I still lean towards fairness because to me that's more important. It's more important for me to make things equitable and fair than it is for me to benefit from something. 
or for someone else to benefit, right? So every day I have to make decisions. And sometimes we're put into situations too where the decision isn't easy. In my last job, um, I used to work in fraternity sorority life. And as you may have heard or on the news or other things, sometimes we're faced with difficult problems in fraternity and sorority life with students being asked to compromise values that they were instilled with um, through their families about compassion, about care, about trust. They're asked to compromise those values when they participate in things that get them on the local news, like hazing or things like that. And when I confronted those situations as an administrator, sometimes the answers and the solutions were not comfortable. They're not easy. They're definitely not popular. Um, you're definitely not going to be the most well-liked when the decision's made. But at the end of the day, can you live with yourself when you make those decisions? That's what I would think about. Would I be okay if I let this organization continue and someone got hurt later because I didn't act upon my own values? So I often had to make those difficult decisions. And there will be times in your leadership when you all have to make those decisions too. And whenever you think about whatever that value is, yours may not be fairness. Yours might be love. It might be compassion. It might be kindness, like I said. But there will still be challenges to your values. And then you have to make a decision. If your workplace isn't kind and you value kindness, maybe that's not the workplace for you. If your workplace isn't fair, then I wouldn't be able to work there. There are decisions that you'll make every day that bring you closer to living your values. And so I hope that through this conversation and as you think about your leadership in the next couple of months, years, and as you continue to impart your leadership upon the people that you work with and the people that you interact with, your family and your friends, that they are able to reflect your values back to you. I wish you the best and congratulations on your accomplishment today. So thank you, Ms. Gonzalez, for traveling to Montgomery um, to join us for this special occasion and giving us, um, giving the charge to new members of National Society and Leadership and Society, um, Leadership and Success. We want to continue our celebration with a few special awards. When your name is called, please come forward to receive your award and remain standing for a group picture. Good evening, um, Eric White, Excellent in Teaching Award. The Excellent in Teaching Award is given to individuals who teach with passion, inspire students beyond the classroom, and demonstrate dedication to developing student academic qualifications. The individual is dedicated to student success outside of what is required. And for that, we thank you on behalf of all the students at Trenholm State Community College. Will Ms. Miseries Omika Harris, Mr. Chris Burdick, and Ms. Shalanda Lee, please come forward. Please give a round of applause. Uh, please give a please give our recipients a round of applause and congratulations.
We will continue our recognition with the presentation of the Excellence in Service to Students Impact Award. Uh, the Excellence in Service to Students Impact Award is given to individuals who exemplify leadership, mentorship, and have demonstrated commitment to bettering students' lives through their work every day. We want each of you to know what you do every day to enhance the student experience is appreciated. Uh, thank you for all you do, and congratulations on this recognition. Uh, please come forward when I call your name, Ms. Felicia Wimberly, Mr. Eddie Stevens, Mr. Eric Calhoun, Sylvester Moncrief, and Ms. Shonda Robinson. Please give our recipients a round of applause. Congratulations. Go ahead, do it one more time. Good evening. My name is Mason Cherry, and I have the honor of presenting our final special award, which is the Honorary Membership Impact Award. The Honorary Membership Impact Award is given to members of the community who embody the mission of, of the National Society of Leadership and Success and demonstrate leadership qualities in a personal and professional capacity. This year's recipients play, play in a fundamental role in fostering growth and development opportunities among the students they encounter. They have made a huge impact within the area high schools and continue to encourage students to reach their full potential. Without further ado, will Miss Alicia Davis and Miss Stephanie Wilson please come forward. Please give our recipients a round of applause and congratulations. We have one more special award to give today. Ms. Lily Gonzalez, could you please come forward? We thank you for your travels and the dedication to the H. Council Trinidad State Community College chapter of the National Society of Leadership and Success. Kim, could you join me, please? We want to give you a token of our appreciation. Good afternoon. My name is Keisha Hampton, and in addition to other roles, I also co-advise the NSLS uh, here at Trenum State, and I'm very happy to be here today. And now, the moment that we've all been waiting for, the induction of the students to the Trenum State Community College Chapter of the National Society of Leadership and Success. Inductees. You have begun to live the mission and values upon which the society was founded, and you have taken an active role in becoming successful leaders on campus and in our communities. Would you please stand? If you are willing to strive for academic success and excellence, participate in community service, grow personally and professionally, and continue to live the mission of the society in your everyday life, please respond, I am. Thank you, you may be seated. Inductees, please come forward to receive your certificate when your name is called. Dean Mays, Ms. Powell, and Ms. Gonzalez, would you please join Ms. Porterfield at the induction table?
The first name I will call, Mr. Richard Kane the second. Next, Mr. Mason Cherry. <laughs> Miss Hannah Chillis. Miss Micaiah Crittenden. <laughs> Chica Grove. Miss Thea Hardy. <laughs> Miss Lisa Jackson. Miss Xavier Johnson. <laughs> Miss Chelsea Jordan. Ms. Shaquem, Shaquem Knight. Ms. Trasha Lilly. Miss Bethany Peavy. Miss Chandra Peggins. Miss Aaliyah Pitts. <laughs> Miss Demetria Thomas. And last, but certainly not least, Mr. Eric White. <laughs> and at this time, I would like all the inductees, if you would, we would like to get a, a group picture. Not, not now? Okay. I will do the group picture in a little while, okay? All right, very well. <laughs> 
And last, again, but certainly not least, Mr. Kenneth Harris. <laughs> Last again, and certainly not least, Mr. Angelo Nimnon. Thank you all. And let's give them one final, okay, come on up. We're gonna have closing remarks by our Executive Vice President, Dr. Brad Friggs. Thank you. Thank you, and congratulations. Welcome to the National uh, Society of Leadership and Success. Uh, on behalf of our President, Dr. Kimba Chambers, and all the faculty and staff here at the college, I want you to know how proud we are of all of you. Uh, we really appreciate your commitment to lifelong learning, to uh, reaching your leadership potential, and working together to make the world a better place, because we all know we need that right now, right? So thank you so much for your achievements, and we want you to know how proud we are of you and how committed we are to your success and doing what we can to make you better students and better citizens. Thank you all for being here today. Uh, please drive safely going home, and thanks again. That will conclude our ceremony for today. Um, if all of the inductees as well as our administration can join us at the table for one group picture. Thank you. And again, thank you for coming.